Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team ban. Team secrets turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Lion. Radiant team pick. League's assassin. Radiant team pick. seconds remaining five seconds remaining reserve time Warlock. Team Secrets turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Ten seconds remaining. Team secrets turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant team back. <sighs> team secrets turn to ban.
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <coughs> team secrets turn to pick. remaining five seconds remaining reserve time Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Team Secrets turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Templar Assassin. Radiant Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Team secrets turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to pick.
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Lycan. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Man stands ready. Prepare for battle. Thirty seconds to battle. That was uh, very nicely played. Tim by Wow, juggling a little bit as he makes his way over to the uh, the mid lane. Do you think that the Lycan uh, is kind of trying to? I mean, he's he's definitely been a little bit countered by the Sven pickup and the War Cry, and um, and then you also mentioned the uh, Frost Ogre and that armor that's going to come through. But he at least won't have to worry too much about Doom as well as upheaval, right? Like he's kind of one of those heroes that pops everything, and he doesn't really care if he gets doomed up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Forev is going to be sitting here in the off lane as a tiny. Now, he did pick up the toss, but it looks like they're trying to make the lane work with the help of Puppy's Ogre. He's currently trying to bully Roger back as best as possible and give Ferem the space to get a, a couple of CS. Meanwhile, mid lane, poor Midwan is dealing with the uh, the tornado coming out from Vanscore. He ate the Wild Wing Ripper and uh, decided to take the 30 seconds to harass Midwan and mid and give Team My Wild as much space as possible. It's all the same to me. <laughs> yeah, poor mid one. I wouldn't be surprised if Vanscore uh, keeps this tornado for the next round.
and just holds off on the Devourer. We'll have to see if he, he's really that invested to keeping mid one down. Uh, he's definitely been one of the kind of powerhouse players for Secret, so I wouldn't be surprised if they prioritize trying to shut him down in lane as much as possible. Our Nyx Assassin is dealing with a Lion and Lycan lane, but it seems like he's doing all right for himself. He's about to pick up level three, and you've already mentioned how Shachlo, when he is able to have a good laning phase, can just go off in those first few rotations. Ogre already trying to stack up to help Midwan get back into this game a bit more as uh, he's going to have to deal with the second round of the Tornado. Vanscore, he did use the Devour, but lucky him, he found yet another Wild Wing Ripper. <laughs> yeah, he's. Uh, I think he's a pretty happy camper at this point. Midwan, probably not so much. This offlane, uh, Tiny seems to be going pretty well. He's level 3 and dealing with a, a lane that... Seems to have been pushed back enough. Uh, it feels like Forev can just kind of continue to uh, to win this situation. A little bit of a go here onto the Nyx Assassin. Might be able to finish him off here. The Spike Carapace gives him a little bit of space. He does have a Mango to go for the stun. He's going to try and dodge his way through the trees. Does so excellently and will still be able to make out. Unbelievable. Oh, he barely gets clipped by the stun though and will end up going down. That's going to be the first. That really was. I was like, wait, what? Like, how, how does he just hide in those trees and they can't quite find him? But almost managed to make it work. Advanced core. He he had was making his way up to top lane too. So if Shasha had actually survived, maybe they could have done something. Maybe they still can. MP. They're trying to hit the stun here desperately. He will manage to lock it down. And now Advanced core might just be able to run him down with the extra movement speed and damage over time of Scorched Earth. A little bit of a heal though, and he's good. Healing sound will stay alive. Puppy makes the rotation up to top lane though to boost this safe lane. Rev gonna be pushed out. Combination of Shadow Word and Fatal Bonds. Gonna make him go all the way back to the fountain. In fact, oh god, is he actually dead? Oh wow. That was way more damage than I expected. He had like 250 when I first clicked on him. And then he just slowly but surely got chunked down by Fatal Bonds and Shadow Word. Guess that's what happens when you put it on the neutral creeps. For the temple. Chachlo trying to interrupt this pull as best he can. Puppy will be able to bring two of the creeps over. Still, though, ooh, mid lane, big dive comes out. They managed to get the invoker. Forev made the rotation over as a level four tiny. Something that is kind of rare for off laners, but this is the power of the tiny, right? He's not really a, a, an off laner that needs his ultimate to be able to gank. His basic abilities are good enough as is. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. MP picks up the level six, and with that, they make a wrap around with the lion and catch the Nyx assassin. Pretty easy to get that kill, especially with the Lycan Sultan. There's not much the Nyx Assassin can do without his own level 6, so... I guess so. 
Midwan gets a little bit of extra cash apparently with uh, the illusion rotation. Min. Midwan. Refraction, but it's going to be burned through so quickly and a nicely placed Sunstrike from Tame My Wild will finish off the kill. Nyx Assassin does have his level 6. It looks like they really want the Lycan. And they may just have him too. Lycan knows the dangers he's in. And they've actually spotted out Shachlo as well as the Doom. So it looks like instead Puppy may be the target here of this gank. As long as they hit the stun, they'll get the kill. But they miss it. And it will not be enough new damage by itself. Puppy's going to live. Walks himself away, and now Flipside actually needs to start backing up because mid one's going to make his first rotation over. He's got the Templar Assassin Trap already slowing him down. Uh, another one on its way in three more seconds. Turn around, stun. will land on Puppy. Sun Strike. Is that going to be enough? Almost. If only Vanscore's nuke could hit, but Vanscore turning around like that is actually going to cost him a death against Midwan. They're going to try and go on Midwan instead as the Warlock comes in and drops the Golem, but they only burn through the Refraction, now hitting the stun. If they get a little bit lucky with the Golem hits, Meld, they've got the burn damage on Midwan. He's got to find a way out of here. Two more seconds, pops the Wand. Another Meld is up, a Refraction as well coming up in a second. Midwan might have just escaped this one. Meanwhile, the Warlock's going to be gone on by Roger. He's dead, absolutely. A question of whether or not our Templar Assassin are Maybe not. Roger actually surviving, looping around the tower. Mid one also survives as both of the heroes in danger in the top lane will walk away with their life intact. Meanwhile, it looks like Tame My Wild went to the bottom lane, but Forever not one to be caught out. Top tower is under attack. Oh, puppy. That's a dangerous TP, but I guess that's what you can do with the tankiest support in the game. How exactly do you uh, do you kind of do that, right? Because contesting ancient is always a little bit difficult. It's deep in the enemy's side. There's usually high grounds you have to play around. What what is what would your plan be if you're flip side? In one. Oh, another missed stun there from Shotchlo. The stun from the Lion certainly not going to miss, but the Sun Strike, it won't miss either. And that means Midwan is now down for the count. For Ev TP's a bit too late. Flipside are here in force, and I don't think they're going away anytime soon with Forge Spirits and the damage coming out from Cedoy. Looks like they'll have this mid tier one tower nice and early, further loosening the grip that Secret has over that Ancient stack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And it seems like uh, Roger has kind of made that read as well, right? The ward being laid down near the ancient stack. He managed to catch that one with a counter ward and a ward of his own. And this means that uh, Secret, he need to be able to find a way to start clearing through this mid one. He's probably going to push out bottom and start working on it soon. Don't want to leave those stacks up for too long. Flip side, they've got a stack of their own, of course, with a Sven. And uh, having that Helma Dominator, he's going to get a pretty quick uh, Echo Saber into Blink Dagger, I'm sure. And be a nice active force around 20 minutes in. Secret, meanwhile, still have yet to be able to take this Tier 1 offlane tower. Uh, Secret, smoke up with Forever and Pylai die. And I thought they were going to try and wrap around behind the offlane tower. Instead, it looks like they're searching for a mid-kill. But Flipside playing very conservatively right now.
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, not too much gold is going to be made of this, but well, they're going to sit in the high ground here, see if they're lucky enough for mid one, push mid, and then wrap into the Ancients and get caught out by this smoke. Fanscore is trying to position himself a little bit more aggressively, and Cedoy will take the, take the Ancient stack for now. They were right, though. mid one was going to wrap around just as they kind of expected. Shoshlo will be able to land that stun. Refraction holds most of the damage at bay, but eventually burns through, and mid one maybe, yeah, is going to go down. Last bit of damage. We threw the second refraction, and now they'll still TP in, defend their tier two tower. They've taken the stack, keeping mid one down. Everything's looking pretty good for Flipside Tactics. Not too much to worry about, even the Doom. Well, Doom's gonna be saved. The nice Warlock Golem gonna be dropped now. The Disarm goes out on the Lycan. Lycan's gonna get burned to death by the Doom, and Doom survives. They look for more. Forev takes a spot of damage. Flipside just don't really have the disables to keep these heroes and catch them five to four now as Flipside Tactics turn yet another team fight. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Ogre gonna be caught by a rotation from the Nyx Assassin. Always nice to have an Invoker on your team with that global presence of the Sunstrike. Toss back, a Van score straight to the stun from Pylai Die with mid one closing the distance. Nice dodge on the Nyx Assassin stun. Mid one will be able to keep on right clicking and finish off the Doom. But they are losing a lot of ground at top lane. Flipside Tactics, they've already taken the tier one. And with the Sven red and angry, they're gonna take the tier two as well without much contest. Yeah, they, they already have the ward down. Uh, Flipside did. Nice counter ward situation, though. They can actually get this kill on Shotslow. That'll be big, but a turnaround three man stun. A stun strike run on the edge will be, do some damage to Puppy as well as Pylidai. Sidoy is here in the neighborhood. The Doom's making his way over to Roshan as well. Roger, he poked his head in first. He may actually go down immediately as the target of Secret's Vengeance, but they're going to be able to go on the Doom as well. And chasing Tame My Wild back. Looks like Flipside Tact is just a bit too split until finally Sidoy to the rescue turns around with a nuke, and they manage to get that kill. Mid one's going to be chased away as well. He may end up going down. Pile I die. Not hit by the sun strike, but the four spirits will claim the kill as well. Templar Assassin goes down inside the pit. A two for three so far. But flip side, they're not done yet. They want the last remaining heroes of Team Secret. MP, he's going to pop the ultimate. Oh no! He runs straight into Puppy. Fortunately, Puppy didn't get hit by that stun, but it doesn't matter. Cedo is too big. He managed to take down the Lycan. Puppy, he goes for a couple kills of his own. He managed to find two, and now it's just him versus Cedo. Mono a mono plus the extra help of the pets like in wolves blocking Sidoy keeping him away from puppy Sidoy checks the pit checks on the HP of Roshan but I'm not sure this is a fight he can actually do all by himself he gets bashed up by Roshan Perez coming across he's got the combination ready to go if he goes on puppy here he may be caught in a trap Red close the distance gets a combination brings Sidoy low but now Roger here once again to the rescue manages to get the perfect ultimate laid down gives Sidoy the space They'll turn around and go for the Warlock instead. The stun goes out onto the Tiny. Roger's just hoping to get a little lucky with some Warlock Golem bashes, but it doesn't actually happen. Secret will back themselves away. Not too happy with the way the situation has gone, especially if they lose mid one. is still coming in. Mid one gets burnt down by the Invoker's combination, and they still manage to get the stun on Pylai Die. Vance Court closes the distance, manages to get the Infernal Blade, slowing down Pylai Die with the nuke. And as well, two down already, flip side. Taking a lead here in this inevitable contest for Roshan. Right now, they're up four against three. Secret seemingly don't want to give Roshan up still, despite not having that numbers advantage. They're still going to try and contest. As you can see, Frev throws a bit of damage here into Cedoy. Vanscore is going to try and tank the Roshan, but it's only at 4k HP. And it's going to be taking them way too long to actually finish off Roshan. Team Secret will be back up by then.
flip side. Counting a little bit with Shanchalo. The fight over Roshan is not over yet. Secret, they've already invested so much into being able to get this Roshan. Haven't managed to claim the life yet. They cannot afford to give this one up. They're hoping for another fight around the Roshan pit that they'll this time go in their favor. But it's looking pretty rough with now the initiation available from Sidoy with his Blink Dagger. And Secret, lacking an initiation of their own. As you said, no Blink on the TA. And it looks like Varev hasn't gone for a blink dagger just yet either there's a blink actually on the templar assassin but even now it's looking a bit lackluster especially against the tankiness of these supports like the doom doom will snag an invis right in front of mid one they'll still manage to catch him though they manage to get the hicks done lead down the count of wards and they're going to try and burst him down it looks like they will manage to get it pretty easily secret are five man right in front of the roshan pit and they just found a pick are they going to try and complete the big boy finally Oh, let's see what Tito could do. God strength already popped. He comes in with Golem. Nance to get the two man stun in the cleave. Ripping Team Secret apart. He claims Roshan grabs the ages. Two down from Team Secret. They thought they could do it, but flip side can test beautifully. And Secret will lose a third as well as Puppy. Inevitably drop flip side tactics now. A huge lead in game number one. Warlock Olam is down, as well as God Strength. The Team Seeker were hoping to be able to fight this one, but it starts off pretty bad for them. The Lion has already been picked, and now Forev starts getting kited around. That Ice Wall is not going to help either. Forev does manage to get a decent toss back. Nyx Assassin underneath the Tier 3 tower will go down in exchange for the Tiny's life. 70 to 12. Team Secret, despite trying to force that fight, will come out on the losing end, 1 to 2. There's the talisman of evasion on Roger. Like, that if that doesn't say how farmed these supports are. And, um, like, that's a big problem, right? Like, the cores on flip side being farmed, like, that's expected to happen. But the fact that you have no real easy pickoffs for, for any of your cores, like TA, Lycan, as well as the Tiny, all rely on free support kills, essentially. And they won't have them. In fact, quite the contrary, we're going to see Forev get gone on by supports. Nyx Assassin leaves the way. Van's core follows it up. And Warlock will help a little bit as well. 18 to 12 now, as another pick for Flipside leads to another objective. Tier 2 Tower looks to be their mark, but first, Sidoy wants to see if he can kill Puppy. With the help of the Sunstrike, he comes close, but Puppy now starts getting some distance. A little help from Pylai Die with a stun. Will get them time to get away. Flipside still go for the Tier 2 of bottom lane. They'll have it too. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. At this point, <laughs> Secret, well, Mid One's doing whatever he can. I was about to say, like, what, what do you do? How do you create space? Mid One, he quickly pushes down mid and claims the tier one, but Flipside really aren't giving Secret too much space. They go high ground. They've got the Aegis. They might as well. A BKB's ready to go on Cedoy as well. MP throws his wolves as well as his Necronomico. Oh, Vanscore actually gets a little bit stuck. Good he had a four staff there to be able to get him out of that uh, conundrum he was in. Secret, that's an ultimate burned, and nothing comes of it. Flipside 
back up, heal straight up to full, and they will uh, push high ground again. As it's just better to almost like, you know, poke and prod, but you're probably thinking we're giving up this tier. We're giving up this bottom lane. Um. It really is Zidoy. He's going to drop his uh, Aegis here, actually. Toss finishes him off with a little bit of an urn charge. So nicely played. Maybe they can actually hold without their Lycan. And without his ultimate, we're going to see flip side tactics go in again, knowing that with some of the, uh, well, like that, like an ultimate being on cooldown, they still have an advantage and they're going to find their opportunity. They managed to get a three man stun coming out for the Warlock Golems. Cedoy follows that one up and takes down two. Vanscore will chase away the third. That's going to be Ferev doomed up all the way back to the tier four towers. He may end up going down. He's going to try and make his way to the fountain, but either way, Lane of Rax is going to have some problems here. Shajlo. Already setting himself up a tower inside the enemy base. Stun comes out, managed to land on the Lycan while he's in ultimate form. And the Stormbolt also follows that one up. They're delaying this Lycan's progression pretty well. They managed to get a two minutes in. No! Flip side. Find the opening. Secrets positioning in team fights is a notable weakness. And Flipside just pounce on that one. They get the two man stun straight into the fireball. And Flipside tactics force the GG out of Team Secret in this game one. Nice and early.